Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. As always, I just do these videos randomly when I come across some articles that I read online or find on my Google News app. In this case though, I'm going to do an inaugural version involving a mixtape. Those of you that have followed my channel for years know that the mixtape involves usually two subjects or more that normally don't have enough information to place in a single video so I in turn mix them together and in that way create one video but multiple examples or topics such as the case here when it comes to two very recent stories that I found online involving elephants and these are elephants that have apparently gone wild and in both examples it ended up actually with the elephant killing the people that they in turn were going after and in one case the elephant actually returned to that person's funeral and decided to take care of some more business who knows because this is a very strange story and there's a lot of missing information but still I wanted to showcase these two examples here and I'll try to present as much information as possible so I'll go ahead and I'll showcase the first one involving that story of the elephant that killed a woman and then came back to trample on her corpse and then on the second story it involves the elephant who killed their work owner like in other words uh, the owner that was making the elephant do some nonchalant work more on that here in a minute so let's go ahead and let's feature both stories here and then I'd love to hear what your thoughts and comments are on this too so let's go ahead and let's start the first one first fascinating that these both happened very recently and these were both situations involving international countries at least when it comes compared to America the first one has to do with the elephant that attacked a 70 year old woman woman ended up killing her and then went back to her funeral to actually do some more damage so here's what happened this occurred there in india specifically on june 10th uh, or actually a little bit earlier on that depending on the date of the woman's death so what had happened was somewhere during that time in june there in india an elephant had been uh, in an area nearby a district called Mayur Banj. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but Mayur Banj. There was a woman there, a 70-year-old woman named Maya Murmu. She was there fetching water in that area when she was attacked by this elephant. Apparently, this elephant was nearby. It had come from a sanctuary called the Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary. It encountered this woman and then ended up going and attacking her, ended up trampling her and then killing her basically right there even though oh, i'm sorry not killing her uh, right there and there but she was pretty much almost dead because she was rushed to the hospital right afterward but she ended up dying from her injuries very mysterious though as to why that elephant ended up attacking that woman the idea is this there's uh, an expert somebody a charity founder and lawyer named duncan mcnair who stated that this was an endangered elephant maybe it just wasn't used to running into humans around that area maybe it in turn thought that somebody else like in this case a 70 year old woman was a threat to itself and so it ended up attacking that woman but here's where things take another bizarre turn cut to june 10th and the funeral was being held for maya murmu and as it turns out the actual elephant returned it goes to show how much these elephants know things like how smart they are because somehow it was able to figure out that the woman's body was being carried in that area apparently it was going to be carried it was going to be there was going to be like a, a funeral pyre of sorts and when that occurred the elephant showed up not only did it show up but it actually grabbed the, the woman's dead body started trampling on it again and then threw the body once more before it left that funeral this pretty much seemed like an act of revenge didn't it like one thing at least with regards to that expert stating earlier that the elephant could have had some kind of danger from this woman from before or thought that it was a threat uh, as far as the experience with that woman but no in this case the second part definitely seemed like pure revenge it sought out that woman's body and then decided to take care of things afterward 
No one knows why, essentially, why that elephant did that afterward. In fact, the mis uh, even then, the first circumstance involving the elephant attacking that woman still remains very mysterious, too. But that's at least that situation there. As far as I can tell, nothing has happened to that elephant, thankfully. Like, nothing in terms of of it um, uh, uh, you know having any harm done to it because of what it's done but at least with regards to this story very very strange it's almost like the elephant that went out for revenge makes me wonder if it somehow linked this woman with something else like if it thought that maybe this woman had done it harm in some way or it misidentified the woman as someone else maybe someone that was harming this elephant from before interesting stuff but still very mysterious now the second story is again an international location this was reported actually on august 19th so actually very very recently and it occurred in thai so this is what happened there there was an elephant that was being used in an area called the thai yu subdistrict sometime around 11 30 a.m that's when the elephant was still working in that area Working being a very loose word, more along the lines of being driven to work, because apparently this was a plantation, a rubber plantation. And even though this, the article stated that the area there is not supposed to have elephants used as labor, as animals involved with labor, whoever was doing this in terms of the owner actually disregarded that and was using the elephant to call all these I guess very large items, in other words, these heavy items, and then do it in an ad nauseum route. Well, as it turns out, the elephant got its limit. This was apparently a wild elephant, too. This was not an elephant that was, um, let's say, from birth uh, taught to work at a plantation, but instead, the idea is this more seemed to be like an, a wild elephant that was captured, and then it was there doing all this menial work. Somewhere along the way, this elephant was also named pom pam it was 20 years old and the owner was of someone by the name of supachai wongfed hope i'm saying that correctly supachai wongfed 32 year old in their case all of those circumstances came to a fateful head there at 11 30 a.m because that's when the elephant had enough apparently it took that owner supachai wongfed pom pam took him put it between its tusks and then basically ripped that man apart, ripped that person in half. Can you imagine that? One can just picture essentially what happened, that the trunk that the elephant had was probably wrapped around the body, and then it was brought up to the tusks, and then when that happened, one end of the tusks, I guess, caught the man, and then the other end involving the tusks, like the actual trunk, pulled that body and then that's how that could have been the other option is that the elephant could have pounced on that owner and then used its tusks almost like a knife like a serrated knife to essentially cut that body in half something happened along those lines because authorities went there and then they found that the owner's body again ripped cleanly in half and there was a pool of blood there and obviously that person was dead they tranquilized that elephant to make sure that they were able to retrieve the body and again in this situation the officers and those investigating they haven't done anything with regards to the elephant just yet uh, recognizing that it was probably used again as an illegal like an illegal animal for labor and so uh, this elephant is still pom pam is still apparently out there just probably in the wild but nothing bad has happened to it which is good in this sense i mean obviously in both cases you had situations involving people having some kind of of calamity like some really bad things happen to them up to the point of death but you have to remember that these are in both cases wild animals both of them feeling either some kind of threat or having something bad happen to them along the way that they felt that they had to lash out. And in the case of the second story, the theory on it from the police is that it was so hot out there, it was almost 100 degrees, and you can imagine that the elephant just 
doing all this media label for hours on end, it finally just had enough. It finally just decided to just go ahead and then just lash out at its owner. And then that was it. And that's essentially where that story ends. So again, this is the first inaugural mixtape of the gruesome and grotesque. Two short stories that I placed here, both of them involving elephants and some of them going wild. If anyone has any more info, anything else I might have missed, then please post those comments below. If you'd like for me to do more of these as well, then please let me know. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.